But today we're gonna to be having a class on hot process soap making using your crock pot. And the ingredients that we're gonna be using are, and I usually measure these right into the crock pot, but for today I just wanted to show you there's palm oil, coconut oil, steric acid. Then in this one, I just have sunflower oil and castor oil. And we're gonna be putting those all in the crock pot. But I kind of wanted to share with you the ingredients. And of course, filtered water and lye that we're gonna be mixing soon. This is sodium hydroxide. Just a tip, whenever you're using lye, you always wanna pour the lye onto the water. It's like the snow is falling on the river and that's the safety tip. Then I'm going to be using Crafter's Choice Matte Dark Brown. And what I did is I mixed it with my fragrance oil. Christmas is coming up, so we're gonna, I'm gonna be using gingerbread. Now you can use any color you want, any fragrance you want, but for today's soap, I'm gonna be using gingerbread. I put in a little bit of almond biscotti. You can just have fun with it. And of course, gingerbread tends to be kind of brownish. So we put in a brown um, mica and that's what we're gonna use today. So that's for the ingredients. And then we're going to show you how the process works. So this is our lye water. It's about 150 degrees. and the oils are 150 as well. And then we just wanna blend it till it emulsifies all together. Sorry about the noise of the blender and the steering, but I want you to see it. And I usually use a bigger crock pot and a bigger batch of ingredients, but I wanted to do a small batch for today's class. Um, this is gonna be about a couple pounds. And I want you to see the process that it goes through, like emulsifies, then it's gonna to turn to applesauce. And I had the crock pot on low, but I'm gonna turn it to high while it cooks. Look how nice that looks. And we're gonna put the lid on it, and I am going to leave you guys here so we can watch how it cooks. Now, since my crock pot is a small one, I'm hoping that it does not volcano very big because I didn't give it much room, right? So I stir it all down. And again, at this time, it's not a safe soap. So we have to cook it for about a half an hour or so, okay? So we'll put the lid on it. And I also wanted to show you something I do is I take all of those oils I mentioned in the beginning of the video, and I put them in this container. Like I get these at the Dollar Tree, and I have about 10 of these weighed all the time, so when I wanna make soap, I just mix my lye water and go for it. You wanna stir it about every 15 minutes. Make sure it's not gonna volcano on you.
Something that I use to check if soap is ready, and I don't think it's ready, that I just want to show you, is I always have some napkins or paper towel and a toothpick. Take a little bit of soap out, just a little bit. Then these are called Feno Drops. P-H-E-N-O. I got these on Amazon. They're pretty inexpensive. And then all you do is put a couple drops. Actually, I think it may be done. If it's bright pink, it means it's not done. If it's clear, it means it's done. So we're done. So I will show you what we're going to do next. That's a tip too. I usually put the fragrance in to my mold and this is the mold I'm using uh, because that way I'm not gonna forget to add it. And at this point, I also wanna use a clean spatula because then there's no lie on it. Give this a stir. And in here I had brown mica, uh, .4 ounces of sunflower oil as a super fat. And my essential oils, I had about 2.75 ounces of, actually it's my fragrance oil in this case. I use a lot of essential oils as well. Turn it off. And again, you can use any color you want, any fragrance you want, and just, you know, if you want to divide this into two before you add color and stuff, you can do two colors and blend them, swirl them. Since this is a dark color, I am trying to get all that white mixed in. Because I don't think gingerbread should have white specks through it. Am I right? Looks like chocolate. I guess if someone was to take a bite out of it now, it's safe because there's no active lye in it. All the lye has been cooked out at this point. And I think that took about 30 minutes, maybe a little less. Trying to get way on the bottom. I think we're pretty good. So we're just going to dump it in. Normally I just tip it up and dump it in, but I have a slightly injured wrist. So we're going to do this before we pick it up and dump it in. It looks like I might have just a tad left over if I want to make a sample bar. And the crock pot's still warm. So with a warm crock pot, the soap stays nice and soft. Try to push it up in the corners so that when we sell this, we sell every single piece of it and not have to use the end for samples. You can play with the top however you like it. I like mine to be a little chunky. 
rustic looking. Seems like the customers kind of like that as well. And then I just have a little bit left. So I might make a couple of sample bars. It's the chocolate fudge. Just to show you. That way I can either use it myself or give it away. But we've used, I'm gonna scrape the rest of this. This is what's left, I think you can see. And make it into like a soap ball or two. And I'll use those for myself. Hope you enjoyed the video. Happy soaping.